Day two of the Special Olympics in Korea's alpine town of Pyeongchang combined a bit of sports and politics. Athletes from around the world were busy competing for gold medals, while global leaders met at a summit on the sidelines to promote better futures for people with intellectual disabilities. Arirang News' Song Ji Sun brings us this story. Hearing voices and making changes. People with intellectual disabilities have long been excluded from society. But world leaders on Wednesday convened in Pyeongchang with the goal of changing that. The summit opened with a keynote speech by Myanmar democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi, with Prime Minister Kim Hwang Sik and Special Olympics Chairman Timothy Schreiber also present, along with 200 invitees. On Wednesday afternoon, the leaders released a Pyeongchang declaration that seeks to help people with intellectual disabilities live independently, with respect and dignity, and to remove all obstacles that stand in their way. As people with intellectual disabilities find it hard to express themselves, their voices have been neglected. Our main goal is to have their voices heard and respect what they want. The message will be delivered to all nations, setting a guideline to promote a better quality of life for people with intellectual disabilities. We anticipate the Pyeongchang Declaration to be a starting point, a touchstone and vision for the international community when it comes to human rights for the intellectually challenged. The summit was the first of its kind, focusing solely on people with intellectual disabilities, with global leaders promising all that support not just for the Special Olympics participants, but for all the people with similar conditions around the world. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Pyeongchang.